Hello and welcome back to No Man's Sky, everybody. This is Alan Paul once again, and we're doing kind of a strange video today, as you can see by the title. Um, this happened a long time ago, one of the probably about a year or so ago, maybe a little bit longer. I was playing No Man's Sky and uh, found myself in a very odd situation where I was fighting off Sentinels very early on in the game with only my mining laser. Um, I wasn't on a planet that was aggressive. But I wanted to try something that I saw Jason do, and Jason plays. And he came across a building that was had an armored door that usually you can only get through with, you know, a weapon of some sort. Your mining laser can't break through. So he pounded on the door, just like you would pound on some plants or something like that with your elbow, doing the, the, the elbow hit with it. And it took him forever to get through the door, but he made it. He made it through the door. So, by doing so, he was getting attacked by sentinels, but he made it through the door, and he, you know, did what he had to do inside, and he left. So I tried it out myself. Got through the door and realized this wasn't bad. But, of course, sentinels were attacking, so I decided, you know what, I could use some decent upgrades from my brand new character I just created, so why don't I take down some sentinels and get some of those nice sentinel upgrades, and maybe we can get a little something out of this. And I ended up fighting off the Sentinels through multiple stages, with only a mining laser. Now granted, I was in normal mode at the time, I wasn't in a, any other mode other than that. Um, but in this one, as you probably can't tell just yet, but let's go to the menu here and take a peek. As you can see, I can't change the difficulty settings, because I locked them. Why is that? Because this one is in permadeath mode. We are in permadeath mode at the maximum difficulty. And a, let's take a look at my menu here. You can see that all I've got on my person is a bunch of carbon to keep my mining laser recharged. Um, I haven't even rearranged anything. I've got a little bit of O2. I've created some life support gels, some batteries, because I'm on a nasty planet to begin with. And that's pretty much it. My starship, I did repair it. This is not a no starter ship challenge type of run, but I did repair it, and I got some things on board here. Um... And, of course, the multi-tool. As you can see, there's no upgrades. So, we're going to do this. And see what we can do about fighting these Sentinels off. Now, of course, it has been... If you were to look at the save, it's only been about 28 minutes. It has been a full night, I believe. And I am just now waiting on... Um, Sentinels to arrive, basically, is all it is at this point. I can take a look around, and I don't see any at the moment, so I've got to go find myself a Sentinel. And upset him enough to bring him back. Now, the whole point behind having the building is because, A, it's protecting me from the elements, yes. And as many of you may or may not know, that obviously if you enter a building, the Sentinels for some reason can't see you. They can't sense you, they can't detect you, they don't know that you're actually there. So I'm not going to use my mining laser except to go ahead and attract a sentinel over. And that's it. So we'll be hiding in the building a little bit here and there. That's all we're going to basically be doing at this point. So, yeah, there's a couple of undiscovered animals. You can see I discovered them because, obviously, uh, yeah, that's just me. Uh, apparently, there's another unknown building over that way. So, basically, at this point, it's just a matter of waiting and watching for a sentinel to appear. Um, it is that early on in the game. So it's just going to be a little bit before we have a sentinel appear. So I'm going to go ahead and pause here. As you can see, I can't change the difficulty settings. I'm not going to acquire anything else. I'm just going to go ahead and pause for now. And I'll bring you all back on when I find a sentinel. All right, see you all in a few. So we're back. So in order to find what I needed, I'm finding a facility that has a reinforced door. And I'm literally pounding my way in. Uh... Then I have to go through a few batteries here in order to keep my radiation protection up. But for some reason, when you're doing this, you can see the Sentinels are having trouble seeing me all the time. Occasionally, they'll shoot at you, but they don't usually do anything else until you get into the, your facility. So it's really interesting how this is working. 
um, doing 11 points of damage every single time I hit this door. And as you can see, not making a whole lot of progress here. It's going to take forever to get through this door. But we're just going to keep going. Again, like I said, I've seen Jason do this before. See, I can run forward and do a little bit more damage, but it's slower. If I just stand still right in front of it and I keep hitting it like this, I'm doing 22 points of damage every second, if you will, every in the amount of time it would take to do 14 points of damage the other way. So, this is working, but I've already gone through one battery to begin with. And I'm not even halfway through the door yet. Remember, I don't have a terrain manipulator, so I can't exactly just really run into a cave someplace and, you know, dig a hole or whatever. I have to stay here. Now, I did shoot the door from my ship, including the missiles. And for some reason, it didn't do any damage. Okay, we're going to have to add a batter here in, second, in just a second. Fortunately, we don't have any quads yet. So, this will just keep going until we get through. We're just about the halfway point on this door. So, you know what? This is boring as all crap. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pause here unless something untoward happens. But, considering the fact that they can't quite see me for some stupid reason, I, I don't know why. But, we're just going to keep this going. I'll be right back when we make it through. And we're back, and we're about to break through the door. Yeah, I'm not going to bother, because I'm going to be getting through here in just a second. And we're in. Now, I don't know why I'm in first-person view here. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we're through. Wait for that to get fully charged. Okay, we're all set. Now they're still searching. Um, again, I'm back in a view that... Uh, yeah, we got a little bit of a problem here. Okay, we'll, we'll get that back to working here in a second here. Ah, it's glitching out on me. Okay. Let me check something real quick. Alright, it looks like it may have saved it just as I walked in the door. So they're not going to see me here. Let's do this. Let's get in and out of the ship. And that way, if it's still acting up, and I hate to have to break through this door again. I'm trying to keep my life support to a minimum here. As soon as I pull out my weapon... Yeah, it's glitching out. Okay. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and pause here for just a minute. And I'll jump back out when I have a second. And let's hope that everything stays the same. Right back. All right, we're back. Just had to do a quick reload. As you can see, everything else is the same. Um, I used up a little bit of carbon on there. So I just put what was left of my condensed carbon into my mining laser. Uh, my life support, I do have some oxygen left. I'll go ahead and max it out. There we go. We're all set, shall we? So, how to do this? So, 
as with everything, you're going to have some healers floating around. They're going to try to heal. See, there's a little wrench that pops up. Having your beam at the highest heating will get you what you need. The highest maximum level will get you what you need in order to take these guys out. This guy's pushing me a little bit. Okay. So yeah, we can take these guys out, but the thing is we want to look for the triangle. Dude, the summoner, if you will. I just call him triangle, dude. It's easier. This guy, I think, is getting healed while I'm attempting to take him down. There's one. There's two. Okay, this is the guy that was floating around the facility. We're just going to take him down real quick. Okay. Three. All right, who do we got out there? So we have another one of those dudes. Now granted, this is level two. I don't even have a quad that I'm dealing with. The problem you'll run into with this, and you gotta take these guys out. Okay, gotta get back. The problem you're going to run into with these guys is that they're going to be sending out a quad unit first, uh, soon. And I don't see them yet. Always take out the healers, as I've always said. I don't care how far away they go. There we go. One gone. These guys are going to be sh shooting very soon. Whoa, okay. Oh, okay. No quads yet? Let's get that healer over there. Oh, hello. Hi there. I'll take you. Ah, there's the summoner. Take out that summoner as soon as you can. Because granted, we don't mind going through all five levels, but we're going to have a little bit of a problem getting these guys up to snuff. Keep it at the high if you can. Let's get those upgrades. See, two more just appeared for no reason. And I'm pretty sure there's no summoner out there. Oh, there you are. That's the guy I wanted to get rid of. I don't have a quad yet, strangely enough, so this must be not be one of those planets that are very, very susceptible to this stuff. There we go. Careful. We don't want to overheat right about now. There's another one. There's another one. I'm going to get to the next level. Why is he floating further away? Ah, there he goes. Alright, this guy we're probably not going to get. He's literally so far away. Got him. All right, reinforcements arriving, finally. Let's get over here.
Now I'm looking in this direction. There we go. Get rid of the healer. We're going to get a quad here. And he's going to hurt. Come on, I gotta get this guy. Good, he's gone. Oh, there's the quad. Oh, crap. Got me in a hole. Now, the quad sometimes glitches through things. So he can stand outside and he can actually uh, hit me sometimes. So I gotta be careful about that. I got 30 seconds. You see my shield is pretty far down here. Fortunately, it doesn't appear to have damaged anything, thank heavens. Keep that timer going. Spark him to come over. There we go. I overheated. Oh, who's shooting at me? Ah, I didn't know there was a second summoner floating around. Oh, we want to take you out quickly. I think I got him. Yes, I got him. Somebody's shooting at me. And I don't know who. I bet you it's the quad. There's a healer floating around in here someplace. Because this guy's at full protection already. Ah, how's my charge doing? 53. So another thing we can do. Let's get my shield all the way up it is. Let's go up top. Ah, we can't get up there. There we go. We can go up top here. Granted, but not <clears throat> in any kind of protected area. Healer gone. Let's get the other healer. Got him. Okay, that's two down. Okay, I don't see... Oh, hello. Ooh, he got me. Now, fortunately, we can take the quad out ourselves... Because there's no healers to take him out now. No healers to heal him, I should say. Use the building to your advantage. Always stay up high away from these guys. He's glitching a little bit. Got him. Got that. Should spark the reinforcements. That's right. Go down here. Guess, guess who's inside? If I can keep focused on them long enough, my beam should overcome their healing. Ah, got to get the healers. Now, we should have a walker here. Uh, he's being healed faster than I can keep up. So guess what we need to do? We need to take out the healers. Now, there should be a two-legged walker floating around. Little mechs. Got him. There he is. We are at level four at this point. There we go. Hello. Hi there. Look, don't want to fall down. Let's recharge my beam. Okay. 
We want to get to level 5 if we can. Hi there. Got him. There's the two-legged mech. Ow. I didn't go up high enough. Okay, this isn't working. I'm going to have to go inside for a little bit. Oh, hi. We have a healer. My shields have recovered, so at least that's something, but I'm probably going to get attacked very soon. I gotta take him out. There we go. Hello. And that's where the the damage comes in. Okay. We're back inside and we're gonna get our radiation back to normal. I don't think we have any more healers. We'll see in a moment. Yeah, he's gone. Good. And this will recharge me. Okay, we're in good shape. Let's go back up. Now what I want to try to do is I want to try to get up higher. Hello. Yeah, okay. Oh, there is a healer out here. He's going to be shooting at me in just a moment, that mech. I got a good beat on this guy, though. Okay, good. Two, three, four, five, and up we go. There we go, finally. Alright, where are we here? Where is everybody? Use your terrain as best you can. Now, again, we can keep going inside, and that sounds like almost like cheating. But hey, he just literally shot something at the ground. I gotta see if he'll come back. Because I can't seem to get him. I think he's actually glitched into a wall. He's coming back. And... Gone. Alright, where's my mech? He should be over there from what I can see. There he is. Oh, that was interesting. I never heard that before. He's really trying to get up here. Watch the flamethrower. <laughs> oh, he wants it bad. Come on, buddy. So, when in a bad spot, again, you can use buildings and you can use terrain to get these guys. Radiation's really low, but I've got my batteries if I have to pull one out. This guy's almost done. And boom. Guess what that does? Falls in the next round. Alright, good deal. Take this moment to... I'm not going to recharge that. I'm going to recharge my life support. Uh, I'll use the oxygen for now. Now we get the big boy. Now, we were looking that way, so they're probably going to come in from that direction. And pull it in. You got to go. Last thing I need is for you to do it. Now, we're going to get a bunch of healers here, and we need to get rid of all of them. Got them. Got them. Got them. So we got these four healers, two healers here, I can't move, I 
There's the other one. There'll be two more that will appear with the two-legged walker. Ouch, to say the least. We gotta draw them back out. Can't take too much damage. Got him. Oh, and we got a quad in there. Okay. So that's going to be the tough part, is that quad. Draw in the healers. There's one. And here he's going to go and heal. I got one right in front of me, I know. Got him. Two. Oh, the two-legged just dropped. Now, I don't think we got a mech. But we're going to pull in some healers whenever the two-legged walkers drop. <clears throat> oh, it's like a mess out there. Got to get rid of the healers, because he will heal everything up too quickly. Everything's in the way. I can't heal him. Can't hit him. Ah, it overheated. Got him. Just gonna get the other healer real quick. Because otherwise we're gonna have a problem. Let's draw him in. Let's get this guy. Throw him in, and there he went. Okay, good. Let's get this guy. Oh, there's another healer floating around. It's okay. We're at such a high-intensity laser right now, they can't keep up with it. There we go. Oh, hi there. Now, he likes to shoot inside the door. Let's draw away the healer. I don't know if we're going to have enough. We'll see. We have to go hunting for some carbon soon. Got him. Okay. Oh, there is a healer here. And it looks like we have another triangle guy out there, a summoner. That's why. Where is he? There he is. If I can get rid of him, we should be in good shape. Got him. Okay, good. All right. Let's charge. I think that is all of them except for the two-legged walker. So now it's just a matter of getting him to hold still long enough. And watch it. He's got a, quite a laser on him. One down. If we can take out a leg, we can get him to hold still long enough. Watch it. Pretty sure there's nobody. Oh, hi there. Whoa. Because those lasers hurt. I don't care what, what you get told. One leg down. Now we should be able to hit the other leg. Two. I don't know if we can hit this one. Brain protection panel. Ah, I overheated. I wasn't watching it. 
Now he goes kind of nuts. And the protection panel's gone. We should be able to... Oh, hello. How are we doing? 63? Oh, there it is. That's the panel I need to hit towards the top. Um, why am I pointing? I'm gonna go for you. Can't believe I'm actually still alive, to be honest. He didn't have the right angle either. some reason he's not hitting me and I don't know why there we go this is where he goes kinda nuts keep it up at high intensity if you can ah that's the part that hurts as soon as you start to see them appear jump Ah. <laughs> Yikes. Yikes. I don't know if I can... Oh, he's hitting me without me hitting him. That's not good. we got to get these shield charged. And we can't do it. It's a slog. But if you can stay out of the sight long enough, you can... We should be able to do this. Got him about three quarters of the way down. My shield just recharged. Um, he's kind of stuck over there, I think. Yeah. See, I'm getting a higher intensity, but he's really t hammering me pretty bad. Okay, out of the way. Ah, got stuck. Ow, mm, hey, cut that out. Dude just stepped on me, I swear. We're almost there, folks. We're almost there. Ah, crap. That's not good. Well, we have the ferrite dust to repair it. We're going to go ahead and do that. That's why I got that. Uh, where'd he go? There he is. Hi. How you doing? Oh, hello. Okay, now I'm in bad shape. Fortunately, nothing else got damaged, but I'm going to have to wait a moment. I'll pop out every now and then just to attract his attention. Oh, come back in. Come back in. Come back in. I can't get in. I can't get in. Oh, I don't believe it. Well, there you go. His leg 
His leg blocked the entrance. We were literally so close to defeating him, but as you can see, resulted in failure. And the game is completely wiped, so I can't even go back into it. So, as you can see, it is possible to do it, but man, you got to be really, really careful. you got to be really, really careful. I should have just ran, I should have jumped in my ship or something like that and got out of the way, recharged for a moment. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, there you go. So this is resulting in a failure. Not every episode you're going to see is going to be a success. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go chill out for a little bit, and <laughs> that's the end of this one. All right, folks, well, I hope you enjoyed it anyway. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and uh, like I always said, you know, always... Uh, Always be kind when you can. Never criticize kindness and always be truthful, especially to yourself. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.